Hi there, this video is sponsored by Shipin6, a like-minded crew of PLC software engineers who are bringing modern practices to automation. More on that later. There has lately been a lot of whispering and talk about something in the industrial automation space. Something that has great potential to make a big impact on the industry. That something is the new Siemens Symmetic AX, the new development environment from Siemens. Symmetic AX. What's all the fuss about? Before we answer that question, let's first take a step back and ask the more important question of what challenges industrial automation, more specifically PLC software development, is facing. A few of them are closed ecosystems with vendor locking and proprietary solutions. No automated testing capabilities, only providing the users to do manual testing of their PLC software. Dependency management, managing your machine configurations in an easy and scalable way. Version control being able to properly manage your source code and configuration data in an efficient way. Open access to a command line interface for compilation and building projects, amongst many other things. Costly development environments, making the entrance barrier taller for new talents coming into our industry. How will Symmetic AX change any of this? What is their take on it? First, let's see what Siemens say about Symmetic. The banner for Symmetic AX is very clear about Siemens' ambitions with the AX. Automation engineering at the speed of software development. The keyword here is software. Siemens are targeting this at software engineering. That's vastly different than TIA Portal. How's this done? Let's look at it. One of the most popular development environments in the world is Visual Studio Code, which is developed by Microsoft and thousands of other individuals, as it's fully open source. In a Stack Overflow survey from 2023 consisting of almost 90,000 developers, VS Code was ranked the most popular development environment. 73% of the users in the survey reported they are using it. AX Code, which is the development environment for Symmetic AX, is based on VS Code. As AX Code is built on VS Code, we as developers get the VS Code experience with all the advantages of it. VS Code is a very much loved development environment. It's one of the most open platforms with plenty of possibilities for customization and a very large plugin system backed by thousands of developers. By Siemens taking the decision to base their development environment on VS Code is a decision that clearly shows that they embrace the openness of VS Code. Siemens is taking a very likable approach here. What advantages does the Symmetic AX provide us? First of all, Siemens provide an integrated unit testing framework called AX Unit. Unit testing and the more important process of test-driven development is something that slowly is getting into industrial automation. Test-driven development has huge advantages over the traditional test-only manual and test-late approach that is so prevailing in our industry. Siemens have recognized this by integrating this important tool directly into AX. Another advantage is that Siemens gives you full control of the compilation process. It gives you full access to the build system through a command line interface that can be run outside of the development environment. This means that it's lightweight, quick and can be utilized in DevOps scenarios. The compiler is also brand fresh, supporting plenty of the modern features of a programming language you would expect. One of the biggest issues with working with PLC platforms is managing dependencies. Once you've developed an application that is complex enough, managing packages and the interrelationships between them can be a big challenge. Most of the existing platforms simply don't manage this in a way that scales. Symmetic AX has taken a proven method by using a package manager that's based on NPM, called Apex. NPM has been battle-proven in the field of the IT industry, and Siemens are obviously aware of this and have decided to build their package manager on a very good basis. A few words from today's sponsor. Software engineering world and PLC world have been pretty separate in their histories. It's almost like separate evolutionary pathways. These pathways have a lot to learn from each other. I think a software is kind of part of the soul of a machine. Software brings a machine to life. To bring software engineering and PLCs together is something that we think is really important and revolutionary. Ship and Six is a part of Loop that almost nobody has heard of and knows that we do. And it's also the biggest and the fastest growing part of our company. We'd love to work with you on some sprints. Next is version control, something that is so immensely underutilized in the automation community. A lot of PLC programmers still don't use proper version control systems, like for example Git, but rather create copies of their projects in folders, zip them, give them a name and call it a day. 
The reason for this is not only because we don't know better, but also because most platforms don't store the source code and configuration information as plain text, but rather as obscure binary blobs. There is simply a technical limitation in most automation platforms today for doing proper version control. Semantic AX is different. Here plain text is the norm. No expensive, costly, custom, proprietary or third-party version control systems. Use the free version control system of your choice, such as Git, just like the rest of the IT industry. Now for the elephant in the room. For one reason or another, Siemens have decided to put a price tag on Semantic AX. This is not just damaging for Siemens, as it will most likely make the adoption of Semantics slow, but is also damaging for the industry as a whole. I made a whole video about how damaging it is for the automation companies to charge for their development environments, which I provide a link to in the video description below. Siemens are making a big mistake here. A mistake that competitors can, and most likely will, use to their advantage. What is my initial impression? If I could say it in one sentence, it would be that Siemens have learned the lesson and heard the screams and agony of thousands of PLC developers around the world and made a platform with the potential of moving the software development tooling of the automation industry from the 90s to now. Semantic AX is the most interesting product that Siemens are currently working on. It has the potential to have a big impact on the industry, as IT and OT are currently separated with big barriers in place where it doesn't make any sense to have barriers. AX gives a chance for OT and IT to get much closer to each other and giving the integrator, that is you, the possibility to use the best of the two worlds. Siemens are a big player and have the power to bring these two worlds more close to each other than ever before. I'm hopeful. With that said, there are more questions than there are answers. How is IO configured and managed? What about real-time configuration? What about motion control? Safety? What hardware can it run on? What about the licensing for the runtime? Online changes? And all the other things we take for granted as PLC programmers. The list of questions is infinitely long. Just think of what you are doing in TIA Portal today, and how would you do that in Semantic AX? For how all of this will pan out, only time will tell. I think we need to be patient. Peter Kurkajic from MTS Slovakia, one of the most talented PLC developers I know, has written a very interesting article on the Semantic AX I recommend you to read. Link is provided in the video description. Currently Semantic AX is only available for selected customers and thus information on it is scarce. There are many of us around the world that hunger for knowledge. Once it will be publicly available, I promise you that I will make more videos about it. Who knows? Maybe I'll make a course on the Semantic AX one day. So, I guess you should consider clicking on that subscribe button now so you don't miss that. What are your thoughts on the Semantic AX? Do you think Siemens has the capability to change the way we develop software for industrial automation? Please write your thoughts in the comments below. My name is Jakob Sagatowski. Thank you for listening and happy coding.